with the next uh, analyst c swanand walimbe and his use case is on ai based identification of uh, ineligible gst itc so over to you swanand yes thank you prabhu ji uh, kindly allow me to share my screen yeah, uh, your screen share yeah your screen is visible no? yeah thank you very much uh, so welcome i welcome everyone this is my use case on ai based identification of ineligible gst credit so uh, when a client client gives us data during gst audit or during monthly gst returns uh, there are n number of columns like uh, the gst number and the description of the item and etc okay now while going through each and every entry we cannot tell if the itc is eligible or ineligible or it is very time consuming for the same so our problem statement is that the register purchase register contains numerous entries having uh, which are on which the itc has been availed and utilized okay so now we have to check which items on which items the gst was blocked under 175 so let me just show the purchase register demo purchase register okay so this is a purchase register exported from sap i have already classified the gstin and supplier names uh, for security purposes okay we have here the item description in which each and every uh, in which the description of the purchases goods or services is given and also next we have quantity the sap document number the invoice value and the corresponding tax rates and tax amounts okay so now if i have to check if this item e p e foam sheet roll tem mm thick the itc on this item is eligible or blocked under 175 i have to first check the hsn code then i have to check with the relevant act and then i have to uh, tell if it, it is allowed or not allowed okay so waterproofing and then for each and every item that is there are total 13000 rows in this purchase register i cannot tell I, I cannot have the confidence to audit this uh, in a day or in some time and tell that the client the data is okay, the ITC or uh, the ITC has been claimed correctly. Okay. So now we are using chat GPT for, and its LLM to detect which items are ineligible under 17.5. Okay. So let's first... Um, Consolidate all the description item, all the item descriptions. I already made a pivot table. Uh, all the item description are in a in in a file. I will just copy paste it into a text file. Okay. So first, let us know why I have copy pasted it in text file. The Chat GPT cannot cannot work on this humongous data. It doesn't know how an Excel file is drafted. Like in the first column, it has month. We have to tell each and everything to the, to the GPT. Okay. So for easy purposes, for our easy calculation, I have already pasted it in the text file. Okay. Let's close this file. Let's go to chat GPT. Attach the file. Okay. Now what? Now we have to give a prompt to ChatGPT so that it knows what to do. Okay. So I have already drafted the prompt. Let's see the live demonstration. Okay. So I will first copy paste the prompt in GPT. And till it, it is uh, analyzing the data, I will just go point by point. What are the points in the prompt? Okay. So first we are, we are going to realize that these are the list of items on which ITC has been availed. Okay, now what it has to do is our next prompt kindly list out the items from this list on which ITC is blocked under 17.5. Keep the name of the item description same. Now, why is this compulsory or why is this mandatory? Because it has we have to trace back the name into our Excel file. Okay, so that we can know on which document number, on which uh, what is the amount and etc. Okay, so next. Analyze all the items we have to tell because chat GPT skips many a time skips any item. So we have to tell analyze all the items do not skip any. This is a very specific prompt. Next categorize the above list with clauses of 17.5 and briefly explain. 
So it will categorize it as clause number A of 17 pi, double A, cross B and etc, etc, etc. At last, we have to give what the chat GP, what the company is engaged in. Okay. Because if I am, if the company is engaged in production of cement, the cement articles or its raw materials, which the company will is purchasing the chat GPT will tell us that it is automatically ineligible. So we have to tell the company is engaged in manufacture of electrical steel used in transformers. Okay. So this is a full package of the prompt. Now let's see what chat GPT has for us. Okay. Uh, first of all, it has already told us the uploaded file contains large list of items, etc, etc. The list contains almost 1900 items. And we have identified 120 items that falls as block credit under under 17.5. Okay. Now let's see what is its analysis. Okay. The first thing it has given us is the motor vehicles and related services uh, that is clause A of 17.5. Now let's see the company has purchased Mahindra Thar as per chat GPT. And it is uh, the ITC has been availed and it is ineligible under 17.5. Let's check the purchase register. In the item description, I am inputting Mahindra Thar. And yes, the company has purchased Mahindra Thar in the month of April from Jitendra Sun Motors, etc. In having invoice date and HSN code. The ITC which has been availed on the same is a CGST of 1,68,000 and SGST of 1,68,000. Once this is our, what we say, this is our expert, uh, the chat GPT expert in dealing with humongous data and our expertise of telling it what to do has the result, we get the result of that. Okay. So Mahindra Thar is here. Next, next, let's check Honda Activa. Yes, my, the company has also purchased Honda Activa. HSN is given, supplier name is given, document number under under the SAP is given, and the taxable value is also given. So, what is the use of this uh, enable ITC? When the client will, if there is scrutiny from GHC department, and if we have not given in the enable ITC list, then the client may tell us, ki, why have you not given at that time only? Why I have to pay the interest? Why I have to pay the penalty? under 73 or 74 etc okay so this is very much important for us uh, the ineligible itc one okay now let's see another sections so 17.5 c and d it has given the work contract service on which uh, if there is bottom proofing of any admin building or structural works done okay next food and beverages 17.5 b specifically disallows blocks the credit so here see the company has already written dinner for auditors sri krishna hotel Okay, now let's see the description. Let's trace it back. Dinner. Yes, it has the HSN, it has the supplier name, etc. And it has also given the, even if the rate was 2.5%, the SAP could not, uh, did not uh, classify it as ineligible because the company did not give it. But we as a chartered accountant with the use of AI, trace that the GST was disallowed and it was availed by the company. It has utilized by the company. Okay. Even if the 5% rate was ineligible. Okay. Like that, it will give us all the items like buffet, lunch, catering, tea and snacks for meeting. Okay. Hiring of security guard. Now it has, it will not be hundred percent perfect because hiring of a security guard or a driver is not a rent a, rent -a cap service. It is a normal service, but we can give this data to our uh, articles or we can use this data to have uh, to check all the items. Okay. So uh, checking almost 13,000 rows or checking just 120 items, which, which is uh, more viable for us. Anyway, 120 items are easy for us to check. Okay. So next good example for personal services, they have given membership and club fees it has given the NEMA exhibition participant fee or gym membership for employees, it is specifically disallowed unless it has been uh, mandatory for any under under any other act. Okay. So it has given us all the data. Now let's tell it to give it in word file. Okay. Now it will give us the data in a word file, which you can share it with our articles and tell them uh, ki, uh, check the items in the Excel and uh, revert back to me. Okay. Now I have already downloaded the word file. Just a second.
ओके जीएसटी आई टी सी ब्लॉक फॉर द गिवन ओके सो जस्ट अ सेकंड Word file given back by Chat GPT. So in earlier prompt, it has given me some other items. In this prompt, it has given me more items. Okay. So we cannot fully rely on Chat GPT for our analysis. This is our tech. Uh, okay. Attention, sir. From last two minutes left. Yeah, sure, sure. So we cannot fully rely on Chat GPT because it will give us uh, what we say some uh, irregular answers from it. So from the ethics point of view, we have to do the analysis our, on our own also, but we can use chat GPT to give us, to give us some time, give us uh, what we say, some items, some uh, checks, which we can go for. Okay. So I will just conclude my presentation by checking what are the advantages or key metrics of this. Okay, so the time efficiency, let's say for 13,000 13, 13, rows, we have to spend almost 10 man days uh, to check each and every item. Whereas if I using chat GPT, we have limited it to only few man hours. Okay, and next there is improvement in structured reporting and audit preparedness. And the last and most important for us is, is the client satisfaction. If the client is satisfied, he will remain with us. Or if not, he will move forward from us. Okay. So by using chat GPT, by using the AI, we will be ahead uh, in time and we will be giving the, our client good services. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, panelists. And thank you, chairman, for giving me this me opportunity. Are there any questions for me, Prabhuji? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh... Swananji, it was a very nice and a relevant use case. Uh, I'm sure a lot, lot of uh, our practicing professionals could co-relate to this. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, move towards the last 